Hi, I'm Lillian. Let's uh, start with a word of prayer. Yeah. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the wonderful weather because we need the rain to water the earth. And thank you for keeping it light. Um, thank you for the fellowship we have together, Lord. And I pray that we would honor you with our words and our actions. And we love you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. To the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Russell Hammond. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And thank you for coming out today to show your support for a cause that we all believe in. This beautiful school behind me holds 90 years of history, tradition, gander pride, and fond memories that we all hold dear to our hearts. Its given name is synonymous with Baytown and the thousands upon thousands of students who have attended here. As for Robert E. Lee High School, I say this, and I speak for all of us, then, now, and forever. Thank you, and God bless. My name is Lillian Southwell. I'm a mom of both a current GCC ISD school student and a graduate of Sterling High School. I have been active in our local elementary and junior high schools as a former PTO board member and sometimes a substitute teacher. I am also a tax-paying resident of over 30 years. I wanted to join you, my fellow Baytonians, to speak out in favor of keeping the Lee name on this fine building behind us. I didn't go to Lake High School nor in any other high school in Baytown, but I've lived here in our community, and I have compassion for those who respect this hard-earned historical marker at this school. During a July 21st live radio interview with Kate from KPFT, Listen up. on the subject, Laredo was asked, should the vote be taken to the people? Laredo said no, and his next comment made it perfectly clear how he feels about you, the taxpayer. If you're 55 or older, raise your hand. One day. <laughs> One day. Okay. He said, and I quote this statement, at the end of the day, why do you get to decide? You don't go to school there. You graduated 40 years ago, 50 years ago, 60 years ago. Why do you get to decide? We are just Baytonians that are proud of our old school and don't want to see it change. That's right. It doesn't mean that we hate blacks and Hispanics. In fact, many of us racists are married to minorities and have biracial children. That's me. That's me too. But we can't defend ourselves because they say our defense of ourselves is further proof of our racism. No, it's not. I do not believe I should be bullied because I refuse to participate in a movement I feel is primarily a political one. Yes, it is. I can sympathize and believe in bringing awareness to injustices without having to put that one issue over everything else in the world. What does being racist have to do with being against spending hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars of taxpayer money without their input or any research on the logistics and financial impact of it?